No. Blow, honey, and stop picking at your face. Mom, I can blow my own nose and practically a tweet. Hi, I'm Dr. Kepner. Are you Brayden? Yes, this is our little Brady bug. Oh. So did you speak to our doctor? I did. He said Brayden has skid, bubble boy disease. Brayden? <laughs> he knows that we hate him when he calls it that. And he sent you here? Yes, he's out of the country. Right, but patients with severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome are generally advised to steer clear of high-risk infection areas like a hospital without an immune system. <laughs> we know even a common cold could be life-threatening. Well, he's on enzyme injections, and they've been working very well. And we were just so worried. And, and Brayden, face. I'm not picking it. just touching it. And Brayden, how long have you had that? This is it? I don't know. I'm just going to keep an eye on it, okay? Jeez, I just draw an arrow in the word zit. Brayden, last night he got congested and we thought he might be getting a sinus infection, so we called our doctor. And he sent you here to get IVIG antibiotics and labs. Was I conked out? Hey, Chant, doctor's here. Hey, Brayden, you feeling any better? I don't know, still a little stuffy, but yeah, maybe a little better. Okay, Brayden, we're gonna move you to someplace a little more comfy, okay? We need to move my patient into isolation right now. that he'll need to be in some sort of isolation for the rest of his life. The rest of his life? Brady Buck. Mom, Dad. <laughs> we love you, champ. We're right here, Brady Buck. Don't be scared. We're not going anywhere. We're Brady. right here. We're right Mom. here, Brady. Champ, it's okay. Don't worry. Mom. We're never going to leave you. <laughs> we love you. Well, there he is. Hey, Brady Buck. Hey, Brady. <laughs> oh, hi, champ. Hi. Mom, why are you crying? Oh, um... I'm not. I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, unfortunately, your T cell count is still zero. Your infection is almost cleared, but we were hoping for your T cell count to respond. I get it. But I don't understand why my mom's crying. There's got to be other stuff you guys can try. You're not going to make me live in this bubble for the rest of my life. Dad. Uh, it's not so simple, bud. Your body has no ability to fight infection, and the enzyme's not working anymore. Bone marrow transplants in kids with skid can be effective, so we're still looking for a match. They've been looking for a match for me since I was a baby, and they haven't found one. What if you still can't? No other treatment for your disease exists. We're working on it, but for the time being, your only safe place is right where you are. Decision looks good. Where are my parents? Uh, they went to check out a support group we have for dealing with tough stuff. I don't know who's stuck in here. You want to talk about it? No. You want to play checkers? No. Chess? No. Come on, you got to let me beat you at something. I kind of feel like playing with someone my own age. Whoa, whoa, careful. You're going to rip through the plastic. That's the point. You don't compromise. Any more exposure, even breathing on him, puts him at risk. Right. Can everyone please step away from the boy? Strap the camera to the top and check this out. You can see where you're going on your tablet and you can talk to anyone. Look, I know it's not what you wanted. It's awesome. How far does it go? 200 yards. That'll cover the whole Peds floor. You're visiting your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brayden's bone marrow extraction went very well, um, but he's going to be in some pain for a while. Hey, you did great, Brayden. We're almost there. Mm, cool. Can you explain it to us one more time? Yeah, because it still sounds like you're going to give our son HIV. No, um, it's gene 
therapy. You know, Braden lacks the ADA enzyme. Without it, he has no immunity. So in order to get it into him, I'm going to deliver it on a fast replicating virus. The HIV virus? Yes, which will disseminate the enzyme until it grows on its own. You want to inject him with HIV? No, not per se. Um, for the past two weeks, I've been working to genetically disable an HIV virus. Okay, the HIV is like a hat, okay? The virus is what matters. I've taken off the HIV hat, and I'm going to make it wear an enzyme hat. I, I, I know it, it sounds counterintuitive and scary, but... I think this is his best shot. We, we trust you, okay? If we're gonna go, champ, you gonna be okay? He's probably gonna sleep for the rest of the night. Oh, sweet dreams, Brady Bug. <laughs> hey, dream about replicating jeans. Or bunnies. Hey, Miranda. Hey, come look at my virus. I can't. I, I thought I was going home, but Shepard's got us pulling an all-nighter. Um, what are you doing? Watch my virus chill. Uh, that's, um, that's crazy. I just removed stem cells from Brayton's bone marrow and injected them into this disabled virus. I just pulled a 32-hour shift. <laughs> you see, I, I should be sleeping, but I'm working. You are here and you have no work. You should go home and sleep for me. I'm just gonna watch. Go to sleep! See, we, we just don't understand. Two days ago he was fine and now he's struggling to even breathe. You gave him chemo last night. Is that what's making him so much sicker? I mean, I know it has something to do with the gene therapy. Well, the chemo obliterated the bone marrow which contained the enzyme deficient cells. Such a mild dose wouldn't make him sick. We believe he picked up a viral infection. Ow! He's in isolation. He, he has no contact with anyone. How is that possible? Your son has no immune system. We, we've taken every precaution, but this is a hospital. Look at him. He's barely alive. Maybe we should just stop everything and let yes. him get better. We just let him rest. Remember, we went through this. He could get sicker before he got better. We're still on track for this afternoon. When you inject an HIV virus into our very sick little boy. I've injected deactivated HIV. OK, look, look we just need to hang on a little while longer. We're almost there. Ready I just feel like it's one thing after another, after another. I don't know how you do it with three sick kids. I'm barely keeping it together with just one. Teresa, I, uh, do you have those consent forms for this afternoon? Uh, yeah, I forgot. Hang on. Yeah, I could have. I mean, you're their parent. You're who they trust. But you can't actually help them. That's the doctor's job. Then weeks go by and all this stuff that's supposed to be making them better keeps not working. I just, I start to wonder, do these doctors really know what's best for my kids? Am I just kidding myself? Will we ever go home? Sorry, doctor, no offense. Nope, none taken. Uh, Teresa, I'm sorry. You just have a couple more to sign. We should take him home. Let him get better. Let this treatment get more established. We don't have to be the guinea pigs. But the treatment can bring us our son back. He can live a normal or life. Or it could kill him. They say it won't, but this therapy is made with HIV. That doesn't freak you out? It's deactivated. Do you even know what that means? Do you know what that means? Excuse me, I need to do one final blood test on Brady. No, no more blood draws, no more injections, nothing else. We're done. This treatment is too much. It's killing him. Okay, Teresa, look, I know that you're scared. Teresa. No, tell Dr. Bailey we have changed our minds. You're not injecting Brady with anything today. You got it? Now that it's thawed and I've added the virus to the culture, I just have to wash them down and give him the injection within the next four to six hours. And then, theoretically, that's when the magic will happen. See, that's the problem, though, Bailey. 
So far, all of this is theoretical, and the foundation needs actual results. I need you to help me out. Okay, give me something, anything concrete that shows that your project is producing results. So it will be once I give this targeted gene therapy to my bubble boy. I know it will. But I, I can feel okay, it. Okay, I can't exactly pitch that we need to keep your lab because you have a feeling, can I? You said you're doing this today? Yes, I am. And it's going to work. Dr. Bailey, take a minute. You I mean, the thing I don't understand is won't Brayden die if he doesn't get this treatment? It's possible. So, I mean, does this happen often with experimental treatments that the parents or the guardians just withdraw their consent? Stop talking. And then what do I do with these consent forms she just signed? I mean, do I, do I shred them? Do I toss them? I told you, stop talking. Uh, I'll take you. How do you make sure you're not making the worst mistake of someone's life? So now what? We just cross our fingers and hope he gets better? Guess so. Good night, Edwards. You close your eyes. You block out everyone and everything around you. <laughs> 